Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is the 9th, and uh, we're getting ready to go do some errands, but look, there's a fire truck back there. The one over there. <laughs> the laundry room here at the apartment's apparently caught on fire. <laughs> Luckily, it's not attached to our building, and we have our own laundry in our unit, so we're good. <laughs> Sucks for the people who don't have laundry in their unit, though. Hey guys, ignore the messy background. <laughs> Jesse's toys and Gary's just regular stuff. I got a lot of stuff I want to show you. First, look at my nails. <laughs> These are press on nails by Kiss. They were like three dollars and uh, I've got them and wanted to try them and they go on now like uh, Color Street do with a little clear thing and you push and hold them. It's no glue and I put them on yesterday and they're still on dude. So yeah, they're cute and Halloweeny. The ghosts glow in the dark. And I got another pair that I'm gonna put on closer to Halloween. I was just curious to see how long these lasted. But I got some Happy Meal um, from People, and then I also got a bunch of stuff that I ordered. <laughs> and I just thought I'd sit down and show it to you guys. Devin's outside fixing his bicycle, and Jesse's with him. Whew, I'm hot, I just got done doing a bunch of laundry. <laughs> but I got this package from Kara. She sends me stuff like sporadically, randomly. I can drink water, I'm thirsty. Ugh. One of the books just went under the couch. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right. So this is from Kara. I already said that, right? Yeah. She sent a Hot Wheel, but Jesse opened it in the car, and I don't know what I did with it, but it was just a little Hot Wheel. And then in the box was these two books, uh, Emma Grammy books. This one is called Cuddle Toys to Crochet. It's Leisure Arts. It's got just animals. Really cute animals. I really like them. There's another picture. I think I might make the horse. I don't think I, I've never made a horse, so that's cool. And this one I really loved because growing up, me and my sister were huge fans of Precious Moments, and this is a Precious Moments uh, doll stick crochet. There's one of them, and there's one on the back. But I don't know how many is in here. I flipped through it. Oh, it says four right there, four dolls. But there's a, okay, here's the other two. An angel and a little boy. So those are super cute. Definitely, we're gonna make at least one of those. And then she also sent this really cool hook case. It's real squishy, and it had two hooks in it, but it's just like fake velvet, and it's real squishy. Feels really nice. I might see if my mom wants that, because she's trying to get back into crocheting, and I use my own bags, but I think she might like that. And in it was an L hook and a K hook. Mm -hmm. Some more hooks to add to my hook bag. <laughs> she sent some stickers. Everybody always sends stickers. Me and Jessie have billions of stickers which we love and she sent a the hook nook crochet hook uh it's a k but it's really pretty it's like uh i don't know if it's acrylic or what does it say i don't think it says but it looks like uh pink acrylic really pretty look at it it'd be pretty for instagram photos but uh yes i will use that <laughs> i never had a hook nook hook <laughs> I do follow them on Instagram though, so that's cool. And then I think that's everything except the fabric. And then she sent some fabric pieces. They had labels on them, but I ripped them off. <laughs> this is a three yard piece of this really pretty, like Tiffany blue color. This would be great for bag liners. And then this is a one yard of this print. Really pretty. And then my favorite, this is like a yard piece of Christmas. I'm actually going to be buying some more Christmas prints. Oh, something in my eye. Soon. Uh, I'll probably be going to Joanne's the weekend of the 17th. Probably the 18th. Um, to buy fabric to make more tote bags with. And some of them will be Christmas prints. So that was all from Kara. Put it all up. Back in the box so I can put it where it goes. Okay, I had to get that fuzz out of my eye. <laughs> the next Happy Meal is probably one of the coolest Happy Meals I've ever gotten. <laughs> and me and everyone were both really excited to get it. I went to my post office box to get it and I had no idea what it was. And when he handed it, he scanned it and handed it to me, the post dude, post office guy. And I saw on the side of the box it said perishable. And it said like open immediately or something like that. And I was like, what the heck? I didn't order anything that's perishable. <laughs> so um, then I read on the label, on the outside label it said it was a gift from Rebecca last name but I don't want to say the last name and it also had a gift note under that you had to like rip a thing and read it and it said happy Halloween to the Roberts family and it was from Rebecca who's a viewer she knows who she is <laughs> but it was just really cool 
bucket with cookies in it. We already ate some of them. We ate like six of them. <laughs> I ate two. Devin ate like three or four. And Jesse ate, there were some chocolate coins and Jesse ate them. But it's from a company called uh, Cheryl's Cookies, which I'd never heard of, but we looked it up afterwards and I'm totally gonna start sending these as gifts to people because it's so cool. And the, the cookies were like delicious. But like here's a little ghost one. And uh, there was a couple of these, but I think Devin ate one. These are just like sugar cookies with icing on them and sprinkles. And then a regular sugar cookie. There was another one of these, but Devin ate it. And chocolate chip cookie. Devin ate one. There was two. And there's a chocolate, chocolate chip, chocolate and chocolate chip <laughs> cookie. And then again, there was two of those, but Devin ate one. I told you Devin ate a lot of them. And then there are three sugar cookies that are pumpkins. And there was two chocolate ones, Devil's Food Chocolate Cake or something like that. I ate them. They were delicious. They had little chocolate chips on them. And Jess, there was a little bag of chocolate coins, and Jesse ate those. But then the, the thing has also got a lot of, uh, like, filler paper, which I'm going to totally recycle and use up. And it came also with a coupon <laughs> that I can use to get 20% off of another order. But it also it tells you how, like, if you don't eat them within a few days, uh, you can freeze them. And... Uh, they got all kinds of different boxes for, uh, they, they have uh, get well soon ones, happy birthday ones, fall ones, Halloween ones, Christmas ones coming up, I was looking at them, um, congratulation ones, uh, what's it called, Symphony, Sym Symphony, I can't say it, I always want to say Symphony, Symphony cards, when someone passes away or whatever, um, cookies though, <laughs> all kinds of them. And they have like a cookie club that you can pay monthly and you get cookies sent to your house. And I was like, oh my gosh, where has this been my whole life? But yeah, it came in a super cute bucket, which Jesse wanted, but I told him that I was keeping it because it's sentimental. And what I'm probably going to do is get one of those foam flower things and put in it and then put some Halloween flowers sticking out of it uh, next year. I probably won't do it this year because our Dollar Tree has already gotten rid of their Halloween stuff and has Christmas stuff out. Which I'm totally fine with, but um, that'll be like a... A, uh, a new decoration for my house that I'll always remember Rebecca sending us awesome cookies in. <laughs> so this is like one of the coolest things. I mean, I love every Happy Mug gift, but this was like different and so cool. We still got some cookies left that we're going to be munching on. And I'm keeping this because it's got a coupon on the back of it to uh, get 20% off of our order. So I think I might try to send uh, a gift out to someone else. Okay, so all the rest of this is stuff that I bought and it's mostly... I think it's all it's all for bag orders and stuff like that so i had to pick up some more thank you cards so i got quite a bit i got well i think eight of the eight packs so thank you cards are good <laughs> for now and then i had to run to hobby lobby those are from dollar tree i needed to go to hobby lobby today to get some interfacing which i got a yard of for zipper notion pouches and because i already have some in my stash and then I had to get some more of the strings that I used for drawstring, um, the drawstrings. <laughs> and they didn't have, I always get white and black, but they didn't have the, the four millimeter in white and black. So I had to get like off white color. It's like a really, you know, it's like, it's basically white, but like dirty white, off white. And then this one is slightly darker. So I got two of each of those for drawstrings. I do still have some white and black, but I usually like to keep it neutral so that it, they go with all the different back prints. And then that was Hobby Lobby, and then I ordered some new, more labels for my bags, and I went back to my old logo because I actually like it better. <laughs> so these are just a bunch of labels. The fold-over sew-on ones, because I like them better, I've learned. But, um, yeah. So the company I did buy my labels from was called Border City Quilts on Etsy, but they've rebranded. They still have their Etsy shop, but they have their own website now. And it's called, uh, where is it? Ever, EverEmblem.com. So it's the same people, just new brand name, and they their packaging's gotten better. It's just, they're like up in their game. <laughs> so it's really nice. But I got, I think, um, I think 80 or 100 labels. I don't know, but it's enough to do this next update. So I'm happy. And then the last thing that I got today was Amazon order. I had to order some more stuff for the shop, and I just went ahead and ordered it all together, and it luckily came all together. So I had to get some more of the Notion Pouch size zippers. So these are the nine inch ones. And then I ordered some larger um, mailers, pink ones, <laughs> because uh, my new tote bags, they don't fit good in my old mailers. So 
so I wanted to uh, get bigger mailers, so I got a big old thing. I think there's 50 here. Actually, I should say right here. Let's see here. They are 12 by 15, and it's 100 of them. Better. But they are much larger than my other mailers. So the tote bags will fit in there better without being so folded. So I got 100 of those to put in my miller section and then i went ahead and ordered some more of the regular size ones that i get these are the 9 by 11 ones 9 by 12 ones and there's 200 in here and i still have about 100 left but i wanted to go ahead and order some just so i had them on hand since i was ordering all this other stuff so got plenty of mailers now and then the last thing that i ordered was some labels i usually use the avery ones like you can get at Staples and Walmart and stuff, but they're kind of expensive. And so I was looking on Amazon to find cheaper versions, and I found this one that's called Paxon, and they're the same size as the Avery ones, and they have two labels on each page, so, and they had really good reviews. So I ordered uh, 100, 200. It's 100 sheets with 200 labels. Um, and I'm gonna try them out, and if they work good, then I'm gonna order the big box because they have a box of like a thousand. <laughs> And that way I can just order and have it for months, you know, and not have to worry about getting labels. Um, I hope they work good because they're cheaper than the Avery ones. And, um, yeah, if I can think about it, I'll link all the stuff in the description. So if any of you guys have Etsy shops or whatever and want to check out some, you know, the mailers or the labels or something, you can um, check them out. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was my Amazon, Etsy, Label Shop, Dollar Tree, Happy Mail haul. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a few more packages coming, but I don't exactly know what they are. I know I ordered two things, but they're nothing to do with here. It's actually some clothes and some a toy for Jesse. And uh, I don't know if I'm expecting any more Happy Mail or not. Maybe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I should be good for the next shop update, which is just going to be drawstrings and maybe some Notion Pouch zipper bags. And then the next update after this one will be tote bags with zippers. I'm pretty sure <laughs> if I can figure out how to do it without messing them up if, if I can't get the zippers in there it'll just be tote bags and uh, maybe some drawstring bags and just random stuff I usually try to use up as much of the fabric as I can so uh, you know I cut it as much as I can to get as many bags as possible out of them and uh, I don't even know we'll see <laughs> but I will have to get some handles and some batting before that update but I plan on going to Joann's and doing a big haul of fabrics and stuff um, because I'm going to be getting Christmas fabrics going soon. I might try to grab some more fall prints if they have them, but most of the fabric stores by now are probably sold out of fall prints. I know our Hobby Lobby is. Uh, so I'll be grabbing some Christmas and winter prints, because I know a lot of people don't celebrate Christmas. But I'll be getting some just wintery prints, and then probably just some cute character prints, like always. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see, what time is it? It's almost 2 o'clock, and um, De Devin's out there working on his bike. I'm going to try to see if we can go bike riding today. <laughs> we won't be able to go to the park that we normally go to because it's like a 30 minute drive. But um, I thought we might go somewhere more local and just drive around and have some fun. Burn some calories. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, did, I burned a lot of calories yesterday. We went to the big park. We rode bikes for almost two hours. It was an hour and 43 minutes. And I burned 800 and some calories. <laughs> I was like beat red. Like I'm red right now because I'm hot. <laughs> hot in here but I was like horribly red I'll insert a picture and I have some little video clips that I took because me and Jesse we parked our box and Devin stayed with him and he was actually riding his bike on bike in circles <laughs> but we walked down a little trail because I, I could hear the water and I wanted to show Jesse so we went and found the water down the trail and we hung out there for a few minutes and I took some clips so I will insert that <laughs> Mama's right here with you. 